I finally woke up. It's 12 16 p.m. I went to sleep yesterday at 1 in the morning. God, this is why I wake up so late. But well, at least I woke up. So I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I make my bed in the morning, but I really don't. So I'm gonna be really chill with you guys, and I'm gonna do everything perfectly, like if I was in recording or anything. And then I, I immediately when I wake up, I like to see the sunlight. So I open the blinds, and you know I let a little sunlight walk in. And I usually don't have to turn on the light, the artificial light anymore. Do you see how better that looks? Like, it just feels better. And you're getting, I feel like you're getting a little bit of, even if you're not outside, you're getting a little bit of vitamin D, I think. And I open the window kinda too, just to get some natural wind too. If you know me, like, I'm at a car, I prefer the window down. Like, I really do. Instead of the AC, like, I don't get it. Like, you're literally not going to be wasting any AC if you can just put the window down. And I prefer that wind, to be honest. I'm from, like, a village in Mexico, so I, I, I prefer that. Okay, one more thing, too. Like, every time. Like, it's been quarantine, and I've been having so much trouble falling asleep. Like, look at me. Look at this mess. Like, my my bed sheets always end up like this. Because I just be moving all the way around. And yes, I actually did sleep with this. With the hat on. But guess what? what? <laughs> it ended up being... Like, it fell out of my head. Because, you know, I just keep moving my head back and forth. Back and forth. But usually, like... To be true, one of the rules, like, I can be moving back and forth, but my head is always going to be on this side, you know? On the side where the head belongs. It will never be on the foot side. Because I have my bare feet here, and I feel like it's unsanitary just to put my face over here. Like, I'm not going to have to get fingers all over my face. My face is already effed up. Actually, to be honest, you guys, like, I don't know if you can tell, but my acne has been getting so much better. I've literally gone to the dermatologist, and they only recommended me some, like, a cream, but that's it. Like, I haven't gone through, like, any surgery or, like, any, like, you know, like, but I'm planning to. Like, I'll keep you guys updated. If I ever do that, but I'm planning to do a uh, micro needling on my face just to get rid of some acne scars that might be visible still. But to be honest, I'm feeling great today. My mom probably already went to take me outside. I wasn't. I forgot to do that, and I wasn't gonna show you guys that because I forgot to do it. But I think she did. Oh my god, I'm such a bad dad. She did. <gasps> Nello! Nello! A glass door separates us. Another video for you. Mugres pájaros. Ya se, mira, le llené, le llené la comida a Nelo ayer. Y ya se la comieron. <laughs> y la presa, mami, no ha aparecido. Oh my god, guys. We. She is outside. Mami, se está afuera. Ya escuché miau, miau. She's been lost for over 24 hours. Prieta, where have you been? <laughs>
¿Dónde crees que ha estado? Prieta, come on. Oh my God, she, she's been lost for 24 hours. Prieta, come on. <laughs> Prieta, go. Go. Good girl. Mami, hay un gato negro que se va al drenaje, no se irá al drenaje. Pero, mami, la taruga, ¿cómo? ¿De qué se escapan así los gatos? Okay, so. I've actually never had a cat before, and that's literally something out of out of my mind. I wouldn't believe like an animal would just leave the house and come back 24 later, like 20 more than 24 hours later, come back and just be like, meow, let me in, let me in the freaking house. I'm sorry. So I'm. So um. I'm at the I'm at my closet right now. I'm sorry. I'm just getting a bunch of messages right now on Instagram. I'm sorry. And I would literally be checking on that. Like I would literally be on my phone a little bit on my bed right now. I would literally be just be doing that. Social media. Social media social media I believe just takes so much time out of your t out of your day. It really does. Now, one thing, one thing I really want to say to you guys, like, to the ones, to the Hispanic ones, please let me know, let me know, does your family know how to knock on the door? Let me show you a demonstration of how to do this, like, to all the Hispanics out there that don't know, or anybody that don't know how to do that. Okay, so the door is closed, right? I'm sorry, the, literally. There you go. It's clean now. The door is closed, right? Basically. Oh, there's still something right here. There you go. So, basically, I'm in my room inside over there, right? And this is my mom. Let me say, this is my mom. Wait. This is my mom. The door, I did not. I probably thought about it, but I didn't. I did not knock on this door. Please let me tell you, this is how you do it. And then you wait for an, for an answer to see if they're gonna let you in. And then you walk in. It's that easy. I don't know why parents here don't, like, they... They invade people's privacy so much. It, they really do. Like, I could literally be butt as naked in the fucking room, like, laying down in some shit. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping so much. I usually don't do that. But I just, like, I'll be on my computer, like, like, picking my nose. Like, I'll be doing something, like, disgusting. And they come in. And they literally seen me do that shit. And they literally wouldn't have been able to see that shit. If they had knocked on my door, waited for an answer, and done all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry guys, this is literally turning into like a morning blog, blog but I guess I'll call it that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me put all this thing up. Let me put it all the way up. And I literally have to shake it off because I'm, I'm being infested. No rats, no rats. Please don't say that. No. I'm being infested with, I mean, that's probably the definition of infested. But no, there's so much ants in my room. I usually get tired of eating. Or like, my room feels just more comfortable for me to eat. And so I bring my bowl of cereal to my room. And I usually drop crumbs all over the place so it's my problem and now I have to 
I have to fix this shit. But it's okay. So basically... Actually, I do this. I would have done it. But... Right now... I'm taking some... Shit. I'm taking some vitamins. This is as big as my head right now. I take some vitamins. Um... Look. There's literally... Oh, shit. Two gummies. There's... And literally there's two colors. There's uh, pinkish, I don't know, there it might be another color, and uh, yellow, like blue. Dark blue or purple. Look, I'm like good with colors. So I literally just try to get... Mm, is that weird? Like, I literally, like, if there's two pinks, I'll put the other pink inside, inside the bottle, and try to get a blue one. Like, I can't do it. Am I might ADHD or something? I am. I'm probably yeah. But I have nothing against it. So. And now what is she gonna do? She's gonna probably watch her novellas. So my bathroom let me show you the toilet just kidding <laughs> so that that's the spot where I first work on right here okay I would literally tell you guys oh I would literally have cleaned this thing like yesterday and made it look more presentable or whatever but guess what I'm not fake I freak so I let it be like like it is and I literally bought this hand sanitizer like a big old one look at this it's bigger than my head and I have a big old head it's a hand sanitizer and I bought it way before I knew about of the coronavirus so guess what I was ready I was ready for this shit I'm literally tired of fucking coronavirus and just like Y'all hear the Mayanitas? Like, today's my dad's birthday. Today's May 7, 2020. But I've already said coronavirus, so 2020. Like, literally. Like, literally, it's COVID 19, but it has nothing 19 in it. It's been like 20 all this time. Literally trying to structure my phone somewhere here. Somewhere that looks. Oh, shit, motherfucker. Hey, hey, okay, okay guys, hey, hey, you're probably gonna just deal with my reflection or whatever, but it's okay, I'm literally so busted, and I need to take my hood off, okay, I'm sorry, I have to be truly honest with you guys. Less than a minute is red as a tomato. It really is. And I don't know if it's been working. I think it I think it has been working a little a little bit, but as you can see it's still greasy. So hopefully it works. Because I'm not going through that pain for nothing. <laughs> Literally. Okay, now let's get started. This is the cream that that I put on my face at mid at midnight basically because I go to sleep at that time. So like you have to put it right before you go to sleep. You put it like a pea size right here, here, right here, 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 right here, and then mix it. And so you just live with that. And now in the morning I have to clean that off with this. It basically it's uh 10% benzoyl peroxide and this has been magic. This has been magic for me. 
It really has. And after one week of use, the skin is visibly clearer. It's basically been taking me longer than a week. Like, I've been using it for over a year. For like a year, I think. And, uh, but it helps. It really does. In long term, I feel like it's really good. Oh my god. I first have to wet my face. Oh my god, I think I did too much. You literally, you literally have to put it all over your face. And it literally says that for 20 seconds, you're gonna be doing it on like each spot. So 20 seconds here, 20 seconds here, it would total 40 seconds, but if you do it, do it at the same time, then it's 20 seconds at the same time. I'm literally, and I've literally been through this routine, like now, like, it's strictly, like every morning, by putting that cream at, at midnight, and, uh, And doing this in the morning morning I've been doing it for like since November of 2019 literally I literally always wanted to go to the uh, I always wanted to go to uh, to the dermatologist but I never did until 2019 so so I I really guess that that I put up midnight, it really works. Like before you go to sleep. So I should, like, basically, what I'm telling you guys, if you're guys suffering with acne and y'all really want to get rid of it, like, I know people like acne. There's people that do, and there's people that like it, and they don't want to go to a dermatologist because they like their acne. Okay, that's fine, but I'm saying. Anybody that does have acne and they're able to go to the doctor, go, go to the dermatologist, do it. It's worth it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to test my nose again. There you go. Do you see my face actually gets red again? Like it really does. And my mom is always like, I don't like your morning routine. You always come out of the bathroom red as fuck. And I don't want that. And I'm like, mom, if that makes me feel, feel good, if that makes me look better, I'm gonna go through that shit. Like, I'm gonna go through the morning struggles and do that you know what I'm saying my teeth are really yellow right now I ran out of my whitening strips and I've literally been eating junk food oh my god and uh, I honestly do need to brush my teeth too there you go it's you have to dry it off I was gonna dry my forehead, but I might have a big ass forehead and it's like, it takes too long. <laughs> oh, you're so... Seth, you sing in the mind. Buenos dias, compañero. I didn't know, he's actually... Like the birthday boy is gonna end up cooking himself something.
Like, he's the cook. He's the chef in the family, so he's gonna be the one that's gonna be cooking today. as a toothpaste. And I'm brushing my teeth. I'll see you guys in a minute. They're still yellow. They are still fucking yellow, but my whitening strips were the ones that worked really well and I ran out of them and I was gonna online order them, right? But right now I don't have a job. I'm literally running low on my bank account and I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I've been at home. This quarantine has been taking me. I think I've been at home for two months. I don't know. I've lost count. It's it's actually lower than two months, but I, it feels like it. it feels like longer than two months, and I'm tired. I want to go out. I want to. I want to hang out with my friends. I. I want to have fun. I have literally just been recording myself doing morning routines all this whole time, and I'm tired. Did I just fucking sneeze in my nose, and then now I have boogers again? Okay, to be honest, I have a big ass nose and I know why the production of mucus on my freaking nose it's literally over over exceeding whatever. But yes guys, I think what's next? Okay, so basically hand sanitizer, wash your hands every ten to five minutes. That's it. I feel good. And I should have sanitized my phone too. I touched it again and they're probably dirty again. And uh, I'll do that later. Okay, so. My Anitos Alegres now. They're literally, they're literally gonna play the whole album. The Cepillin, the whole album of Vicente Fernandez, even though he only sings one. Did, does he only? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm like... I don't know! <laughs> I'm Hispanic. I'm Mexican, but I still don't know. Like, I'm not just gonna know everything all the time. I literally... Sometimes... For you Hispanic guys out there, do you think sometimes just forget like a word? Like, everybody does, right? Like... I'm fluent in Spanish. I'm still learning English, like... English is not my language, right? Like it's my second la second language, and I'm not good at it. Like as you can tell, you probably have here some accents here and there or whatever. But English is not my first language. It's Spanish, right? And my mom feels like like sometimes I forget how to say a particular word. You know, like I don't know, like what can it be? Like a name of a flower. That I literally don't use too much, you know, like, like El Miraflor. What? What's? No, ¿cómo se llama? La La Flor de la del del Sol. Like you use it right now. Like I don't know it because I never fucking use that fucking word. I've probably used it like five times in my lifetime. And I'm like, well, mom, it's a. Como se dice, como se dice, como se dice, and then she's like, te dice miraflor, or whatever. Rascacielos, like, I'm, I don't know, it's something about sun. And then, I'm like, and then she's like, she gets so mad and she's like, ah, no te vayas a hacer que se te está olvidando el español. And I'm over here like, and she's over there like, ya, cállate, nada más me estás mirando así, porque si, ya te crees gringo. Like, I don't, I don't speak 
all English, and I don't even know how to say that word in English either. So like, I just like it. Just sometimes your brain doesn't recognize whatever you're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You probably know what I'm saying. Comment down below if you know what I'm saying. To be honest. And um, yeah, so today was my first official morning vlog that I will upload on YouTube. And I hope that you guys liked it. And I literally, like, it's literally not too much. Like, just clean my face and brush my teeth. And that's it. That's it. If you guys want to watch probably like a whole day vlog. Comment down below, like my video, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.